So hello everybody, Convert with MOS 14 is out, the free and open source multi-sample converter and in the last version I introduced a new feature that you can have as a destination type performances, which means a number of instruments which are used together as one package can be translated over into a different format. But in the last version there was only one option to translate contact NKM files, so their multis, over into the 1010 music format. So you could put this on the road with you and use it in a live context. But now I added much more. So now we have as source as destination formats, four different ones. So we have now also the 1010 music format, which is featured in all the samplers, for example, the black box as a source format as well. So for example, if you sampled something on the black box, a multi-sample and want to transfer it over, for example, to contact or bring it even into a Yamaha montage or a Modex Plus workstation, you can do that now too. And other formats here are the TX16W. X, nice name from Quitec, is also now in the game. And yeah, I already mentioned Yamaha as well. So we have now four formats and you can translate any one to any other one. Yeah, in the last video, I showed already that we can go from contact to 1010 music. So we don't need to show that again. But let's go now to the Quitec sampler, which looks and feels quite similar to contact, but don't have all those scripting options. But nevertheless, the basic stuff is there. And I also used in my last video a song from my band Arilyn, which is quite a complex setup and is nice for testing. So it has here two MIDI channels, which I I play from two keyboards or I can switch on one keyboard to play these different sounds. And yeah, never let's give let's give you a listen. So lots of different things going on. And we also have an Omni setting. So this one is then triggered with both keyboards. And there's even more on the second page. And in contact, you can have up to 64 instruments in such a multi setup. Yeah, let's try that out to bring it over to the TX16WX. <laughs> so here is Convert with Moss and I have here in the test folder not only this example song I loaded up, Chaos, I have a second one, Reach You as well. So we have two songs for testing and I selected here the source folder and we want to put this in this output folder and we want to have this into this format and yeah, let's go. And that's already it. Everything is done and worked nicely and we got these output files txperf, which are the multi-performance settings in the Quitex sampler and let's have a look at that. So here is the output folder and this format works like this, that this performance, if you open that, it's simply an XML file and this only references programs. So we also need to create the programs. That's why you see so many files in here. So you have your samples for all the programs. You have the programs itself. Where are they here? Are the programs itself. And you have here the two performance files. And let's have a look at that. I also loaded up here an instance of this TX16WX sampler. <laughs> and let's see if we can drag and drop one of the performances in here. And here it is. And let's compare. We have, let's also open up contact. Oh, we cannot open both. So but let's have a look. We have this live intro, doomsday, major hit, and so on with MIDI channel 2222, Omni 2222, and 11 is here. Uh, back to the other one. And you see that this is uh, pretty identical. We have 221, we have Omni setting, and so on. So this worked nicely. And let's give that a listen. Yeah, sounds pretty identical to me besides the missing reverb, which is not coming over. But yeah, if I would ever want to move over from contact to that one, 
this works already nicely. And sure, the other direction is working as well. So I could also create a setup here and put it over to contact all these other formats. But what I actually wanted to have is to have my contact files over in the Yamaha Modex 7 Plus, which I bought for playing live because it has a large sample memory. And the final goal was have my songs over at the Yamaha format. So let's give that a try as well to bring these two songs over. But before that, let's clear here the output folder because it has all that stuff in that. So let's run that conversion. And yeah, we need to talk about this Yamaha Montage or Modex, Modex Plus format. It's really, really a weird workstation <laughs> configuring MIDI wise because it it has some settings how it should deal with MIDI channels, but it's pretty weird for my taste. It just counts up the external MIDI numbers by one, two, three, four, and so on. And I cannot configure individual MIDI channels for the different parts. So this was already the first challenge to deal with. And the second one is it actually has 16 parts, but only the first eight can play it from the keyboard. <laughs> Okay, I don't know what Yamaha is thinking in this day and age, but that's how it is. And yeah, there are workarounds for that. I read up on the internet, but they are pretty weird as well. So what I did is I mapped the MIDI channels to scene. So if you activate scene one, for example, all MIDI channel ones will play. And if you activate scene two, all of the MIDI channel two will plays and so on up to MIDI channel eight. It doesn't have to be necessarily MIDI channel one to eight. It can be other MIDI channels, but the maximum is eight. And the mapping is like this. So an instrument will be translated to a part. And if you remember, a part has eight elements, so it fits normally quite easily in there. But as you saw here with the Chaos song is that we have more than eight. We actually have, uh, I think, 11, 11 instruments in there. And that's why it's saying it needs to reduce by three. Yeah, it's 11, eight plus three is 11. <laughs> so it needs to reduce them. And what the algorithm does, it adds these instruments, so the multi samples in that instrument to another one with the same MIDI channel. So that's the approach. It tries to first reduce it by the MIDI channel, which makes it work also quite nicely as I saw in the result. So let's have a look at the output. So we saw we have now two libraries. And then I was thinking, okay, this is great. After I translated all my 40 song setups <laughs> and I ended up with 40 libraries, but that's actually not what I wanted to have. I wanted to have one library with all the songs in it. So I noticed we need to have something else. We need to have also libraries of performances. <laughs> and that's what you get now in Convertive Mos 14 as well. The only supported format is Yamaha because it yeah, can do that. So several NKM files here or other uh, formats will be going into one library now. And you can name this library here, same as with preset libraries. And yeah, let's do that now. Let's maybe delete these so we see what's coming from that conversion process. Let's do that. And same warning. And there, it's done. And we have now this one big library. And that's something we can test out now on the workstation. So here on a Modex 7 Plus, I inserted the USB stick with the library file. And we select here the USB stick and select the Arilin file I created. And this takes quite some time since this will be written into flash memory. So the advantage of that is that when you turn on the device, it's directly there. You don't have to load it. But this takes several minutes to flash that to the memory. So let's skip forward to that. So and here we are back after the loading process. And let's go to the category selection. And in category, we go here to the library selection and we select here now the 
Herodian library, which is in there, and it shows the two songs we created. So let's select the first one, Chaos. So scene one has all of the MIDI channel one sounds active, and scene two, all of the MIDI channel two. And the ones who are set to Omni are available on both and also active. So that's scene one, which we did not listen to with contact, but here's the second one. And yeah, sounds rather identical. And we have also the orchestra hit. <laughs> Yay! But while testing, I found out that you can use that not only for converting formats, you can also use it for pretty interesting and weird sound designs. Have you ever wondered how 64 pads sound played at once? <laughs> <laughs> you can do that now. So another new feature of Convert with MOS 14 is that you can now also create contact output files as a preset library. So this will also create an NKM multi and put all of your source contact files in there. So let's pick here my pad folder, which contains many, many uh, different samples of pad sounds and one file, output file of NKM here, if we select preset library, can contain up to 64 instruments. So it will pick up the first 64 instruments. And yeah, let's do that. So it will add all these different pad sounds, which are a lot. <laughs> And then it finally says, yeah, I limited it to 64 because it cannot contain more than 64 in one NKM file. And it writes all the samples. This might take a bit because it's big. And I noticed that you throw so much stuff in contact. It can actually freeze and kill contact. <laughs> but I hope it will not crash this time. So let's have a look at the output folder. And it's created all these sample folders. And we have one big NKM file, which actually is not that big, but it references all these different samples. And let's open up contact here again. And let's drag over the NKM file. And you see we have now 64 different sounds and they all will play on MIDI channel 1. So I think I need to put this back on MIDI channel 1. Let's give it a try. Pretty moody. And so much for Convert with Morse 14. Also check out my other video about Convert with Morse 14, which shows you the new command line interface, which is a very, very new powerful feature as well. And until next time, make some fun. Keep...